rock out news. People breaking the law. Ha ha, fighting in the noon. Ha, drunk people pooping in the street. Ha ha, it's the whacked out news. So many people are meth. Ow! Odd request that this bank robber in Miami had of the judge. He told the judge, you know what? If you would, your honor, sends me to the max. <laughs> what? I love the life I have in prison. And he, I just know myself and I'm going to mess up again if you let me out. So just put me away for good. He was institutionalized. Guess so. I guess some people just... They know, you know what I hear with structure and all that. Some people actually thrive in prison. That's where they want to be. But you're right, though. I, I know they talked about that in Shawshank Redemption. I, I do think people are in prison so long that the world changes and you go out there and you go, ah, computer. They don't yeah. want it. Yeah, they want to go you don't scared. Know yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what? I think some people, too, they, they don't like change. They get into a routine. That sounds like what prison is. Everything is, you know, they tell you what to do, and you don't have to make any decisions. And some of these prisons, it's still prison, but you go, all right, they're playing video games, internet's go internet galore. They're, it's not, that they can do video chat anytime. I was listening to about Danny Masterson. He's in a cush situation where he can video chat with people all the time he can talk to his loved ones it's suge knight does a podcast <laughs> you're right yeah right he's got a podcast yeah. i didn't think that mm -hmm. was possible i didn't either but here we are yeah some people are thriving <laughs> well a couple weeks ago police in spring hill florida pulled over a vehicle and they noticed evidence of drugs so they said, okay, that's all we need to search through your vehicle. Well, when they went through it, they found a rolled cigar with marijuana, a pill box with the word Xanax written on it. That made it handy. They also found 11 Alprazolam pills. You know what that is, Virginia? That's Xanax. That, yeah. or, that's an anti-anxiety pill. Okay. Two separate baggies, both with fentanyl residue inside. Oh, <laughs> like no. Like how Kevin asked you if you knew it all was. Well, you know, if you need a pill expert around. Well, here. yes. I mean, I, someone over here beat me to the punch because <laughs> both of us know a thing or two about some pills. Yeah. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever. You were quick to answer. I was right on it. You're right. No, Kevin, I got this one. I asked the wrong person, Virginia. I apologize. <laughs> I don't think, for the record, I don't think any pills now. I can't because my kidney. But yeah, I know about those anti-anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> they said there were also three syringes filled with methamphetamine. Oh, no. A black container with four more marijuana cigarettes and a safe with more drugs. Oh, wow. yeah. This is a whole slew. Someone's getting after it. Yeah, they got a lot of drugs. And so when they went to arrest the two people in the car, the 39-year-old Scott Schwerian, he knew I'm going away for a long time. So he tried to get away on foot. <laughs> It and always works. You on foot versus the cops. Yes, and he would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for that dang telephone pole he ran face into. <laughs> <laughs> Rule number one of running, look. Yeah, that's the Xanax. He is out cold. The cops walked over and just handcuffed him. Dude, you're making it too easy on these cops. Yeah, you are. <laughs> a woman in New Orleans stole an ambulance on Tuesday night and took it for a joyride before it was eventually recovered. I get it. I mean, how exciting. For the first 10 minutes, you've got to be like, this is such a rush. And the crazy thing about it was there were two M EMTs and a patient still inside when she stole it. Oh, wow. That's brazen. Yeah, they're asking an eyewitness about what was going on. Just slamming on the window going, open this car, open the door, open the window. She was driving. I don't know if she was intoxicated or not, but she was in, in the car driving. She finally opens it and they grab her and they throw her down on the ground. Then the whole pretty much precinct showed up. Wow. Okay. Dude. That's how do you wrong. think it's going to end, though? That's just somebody that has no vision of the end game. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. never going to end well. Yeah. Well, you got to hope that uh, the Dodgers never win a World Series again because people in L.A. just don't know how to handle it. I mean, right away, they started looting stores and just tearing down the entire city. But, but they won. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I thought you did hey, that. Hey, we just won. Let's go destroy the city and steal you, everything. You did that when you lost. They love rioting and looting in Los Angeles. They just love doing it. Yeah. And then a bunch of knuckleheads. Did you see the video the guy blew his hand off? Oh, I read about it. I didn't watch the video. Oh, it's unreal. It's unreal. This Can guy, you see his hand? Uh, the, well, the guy's crouched down in the street, 
and he lets off an ex- I don't know if he knew what it was or whatever, but he goes to light it and pretty much immediately kaboom. Oh. And somebody's filming it. Here's the reaction. Oh, oh his hand blew. I know it did. Oh my goodness, bro. I mean, you listen to that explosion, and the guy comes over, and another guy goes to help him. And you ever see when they do that gag thing on SNL where blood's just squirting out? Yes. Yes, yes that's what it was. He's holding on to it. Just, oh. It's like a blood gun coming out of his nub. My Did you feel a little God. uneasy after watching that? It's a that? rough one. If you see it, you're going to see, yeah. And it takes a second because he kind of goes staggering away, and you're like, oh, wow. I don't know if I want to watch it on a weekend. It's tough. I I don't, I'm not ready. That's yeah. Monday content. It hit me on Tuesday. Yeah. yeah uh, he's he's going to survive but he's gonna have a hook for a hand so wow which i think is cool by the way personally yeah, you're right yeah that's true there's a crazy thing happened on united airlines flight there's a dude that was i guess just chilling relaxing taking a little nap and all of a sudden another passenger came up and started pummeling him in the face it was like a minute long attack and people are like wait what's going on here what could the guy that was sleeping right possibly have done to infuriate the man who was punching him who knows dude's probably intoxicated uh, i don't know maybe just lost his marbles oh my god they landed the flight safely and they arrested the dude upon arrival but no word yet on why he started can you imagine the guy in the face. well if you're on a plane you're napping and then all of a sudden a guy is punching you in the face like what if you are drinking and you're on Goofballs or drugs. Alonzo and, Pam. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Drinking it. And yeah, you're going to act a fool and do stupid things, especially if you already have issues. Mm-hmm. Yep. So there you go. Dang. Remember that uh, video and audio I played that 23 year old Jennifer Gubialt that pepper sprayed the Uber driver seemingly for no reason? Her friend's like, Jen, what are you doing, Jen? Yes. Yes. Well, now she has been indicted for a hate crime on the Upper East Side in New York. The Uber driver that she pepper sprayed was a Muslim. And so they got her for two counts of assault as a hate crime and aggravated harassment for the unprovoked attack. Good. The guy was just driving them in an Uber. Well, what did she say why she did that? I don't know. She just reached out and started doing it. I don't know what came out of the trial, but she I was I think convicted. she was drunk. Yeah, she was. I think she Again. was hammered, but still. Again. Yeah. Insane. Well, congratulations to Gary Christensen. He broke a Guinness World Record for the longest paddling journey by pumpkin boat. Well, guess what? Oh. We're doing on Wednesday. Pumpkin boat. For yeah. World Record Wednesday. We have a lake back here. Yeah, yeah. we do. He uh, carved out a 1,200-pound pumpkin, and he traveled over 45 miles on the Columbia River in Washington. Okay, never mind. 45 miles? Yeah, he broke the old record of 39. It took him about 26 hours to do it. You're never going to be able to do that, Bird. Yeah. No, we, I, we don't have the... Pumpkin. Yeah, we got none of, none of that. <laughs> we don't Your have swimming the, ain't that great. We don't have the talent. We don't have the, the girth of the lake. <laughs> How big is your pumpkin? Yeah, just making that thing, it must have taken so long. Yeah, absolutely. Cool little find right near a Mexican highway. A lost Mayan city. Valeriana is the name of it. And it was right beside a busy highway. They use this type of radar technology. And they say the city has 6,500 structures, including 50-foot-tall pyramids, what? houses, and a curved amphitheater. Oh, my god! That's what I'm saying. When we act like we know everything about... We, we had no idea this was there. And there, yeah. uh, these kind right of stories, the they yeah. are popping up all the time. Yeah, it's crazy, and mm-hmm. we're all we know about we know about the ocean, we know about space. Yeah, we can, we don't even know about our own land. You don't know diddly. Exactly. One thing we do know: you cannot turn back time by flying fast around the world. If you saw a <laughs> Superman movie, that actually happened, and Neil deGrasse Tyson is here to debunk that Superman theory. If that happened, anything not nailed to Earth's surface <laughs> will fall over and roll due east at like 800 miles an hour, at least at this latitude. <laughs> right? At the equator, it'd be like 1,000 miles an hour. And the Atlantic Ocean would slosh up onto Europe and Africa. The Pacific Ocean would slosh up onto North America and South America, and billions of people would die. This is what happened in the movie Superman. Do you remember it? 1978, Superman. He, he slows down the rotation of yes. the Earth. It stops... Yeah. Then he, he 
and then time goes backwards, which of course is just BS. But I'll give it to him because he's Superman. And then had he done that, all this to save Lois, right? If he did that, oh my gosh. That's the end of civilization. Just to pull Lois out <laughs> of a just ditch. Just to pull Lois yeah. out of a freaking ditch. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I always had a problem with the ending of the, that Superman movie. Because yeah. with that, I don't... I don't I'm going to lose Virginia if I even try to explain it. Lois you already Lane. lost me, so don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm punting. Yeah. Finish your sentence. No, I'm punting. I'm out. <laughs> it's not worth it. Nope. <laughs> not at all. Quit. This is how we do it. It's the KBJ Show.